What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Holster Building. So what we're doing today is we're going to do another Rock 5.7 like you saw in the previous video, which for some odd reason my computer lost internet overnight. So I woke up this morning and it froze at 92%. So it should be finished anytime now. But anyways, uh, we are doing the 5.7 with this Solo Fish Light. It is a light laser combo and it was actually a um, more or less, it was a gift from a customer so I could go ahead and uh, build the holster for him because uh, I don't invest in no name Amazon special lights uh, just because there's thousands of them and it's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get enough call to do anything. Um, so uh, this customer provided me with one. So we're going to go ahead, mount it, and build a right hand outside the waistband with a G code paddle and um, an FD spring and we're going to get it going and get it shipped out to Texas. So let's get the build going and let's get it out of here. I have, um, I got a lot going on before Friday morning, uh, as in uh, new tires, alignment and all that stuff. So my, my wheels and tires are actually at the shop right now getting put on. Uh, and then I got to bring my truck, truck to an alignment shop so I can go ahead and do that because that is actually the one thing I can't do in my garage. So uh, without further ado, let's let's get building. And obviously the first step is to mount it and this is just a single screw with alignment pins and that is going to go as far back as we possibly can. Make sure that spring is in there, it keeps tension on it. And this is just a screwdriver or a flathead I should say clamp that on there still have the socket on there as you can see from yesterday all right so that's that and you got your uh, you got your laser and you got your light somewhat easy access personally uh, I'm not a fan but it is what it is and uh, you know let's go so um, I do have special blocking it's uh, this stuff you've seen these before on bigger builds I did have the option of, you know, doing the smaller one here and then leaving that there and then cutting this other one so it, you know, matches the curve of it. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to make it flat. And we're going to go pretty much this right here. And I'm going to build a little uh, dimple to go over that so a lot of this is going to be exposed. And then on this side, the only thing we can really do is uh, the retention is going to be right here so we're not going to worry about the screw because it's not up high enough to worry about um you know if we do this it's might be able to work actually that looks like it'll work perfectly my original plan as i was looking over this was going to be just like that but i completely forgot i had this notch which looks like it's absolutely perfect enough to leave that indent right there so this is going to be a lot easier than expected I'm gonna go ahead and grab some rail covers because I like to have this have these covered so they don't. Um, what happens is the pressure is gonna be so great in the press that it will press down on each individual one, and then it's gonna give you added retention, which we don't want. We want a one retention spot and a quick in and out. So let's go ahead. Let's add our five layers of tape, and then get these on, and then the blocking for this which what I'm actually gonna do is uh, we're gonna make it adjustable so instead of doing a single piece like this we'll be doing a single piece not quite this like that but not quite it'll be probably double the size of this um, that way they could go dink 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 and you know move it up and down and, and where they want so uh, it states that they want it um, higher than normal so to me that means that they want the gun a lot higher now here's the problem the higher you go past the center line, the more it's going to flop, or the easier it will be to flop. And uh, the only way to counteract that is with a very strong belt, or you know, you put this in the right spot. So I like to put it where if my fingers are here, the belt line is there. So I would normally put it right here, lined up with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the piece of blocking pretty much lined up like that, and the end user will be able to pick and choose which one he wants uh, to put it on. So it'll give you that adjustability so and like i said i do have the blocking somewhere i just used it on another firearm oh here it is right here so that was just a smaller one and it gave you up in you know two spots uh if i have a bigger one maybe i'll use that one that's not this one that way you get a little bit more adjustment but 
let's get our five layers on. start off with this side and again generally if it's a customer's flashlight I'll tape it up so I don't scratch it this I don't care about just like all my other flashlights so we're not gonna worry about it at all so we're gonna be extending past the bottom just a little bit and we're gonna leave enough for that indent so I am really happy with how that is right there So it doesn't flop when I rotate it. Bang. And this one's going to go pretty much the same spot. It was right there. We'll do that to match because we're going to have to cut something to go right there anyway. You know, when I say match, I mean the uh, angled part at the bottom. That matches, matches that right there. This is going to look good in FDE. I don't think I've done an FDE 5.7 yet. And those are lined up at the bottom. And I'm going to take one piece right here and just connect them to try and stop them from doing that. All right, so let's uh, let's find a piece of blocking that will work better. Mm, nothing. All right, let's see if I have something already out on the table, which I mean. Set that right there, or God, we could just do that. I mean, it's not going to affect anything, and that'll give you a ton of adjustability. Yeah, you know what? Might as well. I'll just flip it and do that. All right, so now we're going to need something under it, and we're going to be right there, so that's pretty damn good. Too big. Shave this down just a little. All right, let's see what that looks like. Balling. All right. So we're just going to take a piece of tape. That's just going to hold it in place so when we pick the firearm up, it doesn't fall when we put it in the press. All right, and like I said, I normally would place it right about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up just a little bit, and it's going to allow the end user to go bang, 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 wherever he wants. And I like to do at least two peaches, peaches, wow, two pieces go in perpendicular to each other.
All right, and now the only thing left is the retention plate. Oh, and I almost forgot. I got to do something for that guy. So uh, what we're going to do on that, which I might have something already built. No, that's too big. So what I do is I have something like this and I cut it out. All right, so I'm going to go get a piece of wood and I am going to pretty much cut it like that, hollow out one side and then place it over it. No big deal. And like I said, it really didn't take long. Just cut something out. That's that shape. And it's going to sit right there. And it's going to be good. So I'll just tape that in place. Right now, we are going to grab our deep reach tracing pencil, bada bang, and we're going to go ahead and make a retention plate and then cut it. I also want to give you guys a quick little tip when you're running, uh, you know, the plate, this right here will actually transfer to the Kydex. So, even though we're doing um, FDE and then this is going to be on the inside, the barcode and everything will transfer to the Kydex. So make sure you remove anything that has that on it. All right. And uh, yeah, it might have been covered in tape. These black lines are going to be covered in tape, so I'm not worried about the black lines. Those aren't going to transfer. Uh, let's see here. And there we go. So now all that's left to do is I'm gonna tape this on here, and then we're gonna cut our piece of FDE, and then uh, and then have some fun. We're gonna cut it. Our oven's already on. Our uh, foam is already hot. So let's uh let's have some fun. And we are out of the press, and this actually looks pretty good. Um, obviously, you just saw that I went ahead and I grabbed this, and I just put in the marks of where you know, they should be. I might move this one up just a little bit, and same thing with those, because they're kind of close to the edge. Uh, but regardless, it's going to give this gentleman uh, about, oh god, two inches of adjustment on the height of this. Um, I normally, like I said, would put it there. I'm going to send it to him probably about here, see how he likes it, and like I said, he can adjust it all he wants. So, um, now we're going to have to take it apart. It's not sealed, so... Oh, yeah, it is. I got to cut right there, and then I'll do it. All right, so as you can see, I just switched over the light to the glue gun. And so that means we're going to go ahead and get this where we need to be. Cut down with that. And I, I added this. Uh, you, didn't, uh, you guys didn't see that. It was after the fact I decided to do that. And again, we're going to cut on this side of the line. And this is going to come down here. Yep. And then go on like so. Bam. That's going to go like that. Bam. And we're going to come down. And, uh, oh God, we will probably do, probably do two on this guy. That's not the one I want. Or maybe three. Nah, two should suffice. Put them right there. With no dose. All right. And then obviously this is gonna come up like so. I could even go like that if I wanted to. And then uh, let's just drill all the holes, cut it out, sand it, mount it. Good to go. Just beat it.
Cool. I'll take it. We'll call that weight reduction. Not bad for freehand. Here we are getting our queen on, and there's some tape that got stuck in here. It's always fun. There we go. Still a little bit of residue to take out in there. No biggie. Perfect. pretty good all right let's get it together all right so so in the hardware here Ooh, I like that. Sold. All right, that's hardware for this. I don't use the hardware that comes with it because I personally don't like it. Um, I like to have more threads catching and I like to have the rubber spacers as a suspension. So, and I upgrade to longer screws instead of the one that it comes with it. And that's just personal preference. There's one and two. And let's see. Ah, oh, it's just a beautiful thing. So there's a Rock 5.7 with a Solo Fish Amazon Light. And thank you guys for watching yet another Rock 5.7 build. This build came out exceptionally well and is headed to a gentleman named Jim in Corpus Christi, uh, Texas. And I am looking forward to getting it out. And uh, now I am moving on to the next one. I have a lot of work to get done from now until I leave for our vacation. It's a working vacation, you know, giant car show, but I still do networking down there and uh, we still have a lot of fun. So again, if you guys are in the area of Carlisle, Pennsylvania, head out to the fairgrounds there and uh, Chrysler of Carlisle is going to be a hit time. There's over 3,000 cars last year when we went and maybe I'll be trailering something back. I'm not sure, but if I do, it'll be filmed for the garage channel. But until then, huge thank you to Holstersmith and KnifeKiss.com and I will see you guys on the next one.